Hello again, 420 Gamers, and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, you're either considering getting a Honey Badger or another dabbing device, or maybe you have a Honey Badger and you just enjoy the content. Or honestly, there are probably a lot of reasons why you're watching this video. But right here, right now, I am here to tell you five things that you should know before buying a Honey Badger device. Before we get started, I am Dutybeard, I am a content creator, and I'm a full-time streamer on Twitch. You should definitely check my stream out, we play a lot of video games, we are 420 friendly, and we are 710 friendly, and we talk about weed all the time, so please, you are more than welcome to come through and talk about whatever you want. Here, please check out this clip real quick for context. League of Legends. Oh, okay. I well, after the, cause you have, what did you just say? Also, I just moved from Seattle to Washington. So one really good weed scene to another really good weed scene. And I'm just really, really excited to immersify myself in the products out here. On top of that, I might even be getting a job as a bud tender again in Hollywood. So I would love for you to be part of this new journey back in California. Follow my Twitch, get into my Discord, all the links are going to be in the description down below. If this video does make you realize that you would like to invest in a Honey Badger, then please, please use the link below in the description. It really does support me and my channel and my life, and you will be really happy using my link. I promise you that. Now let's go ahead and get started. If you are familiar or are not familiar with a honey badger, it is an electrical nectar collector or a dab straw, which I hear being used a lot nowadays. It is a very heavy duty, fine piece of equipment. It's a lot heavier than it looks and it feels really good in your hand. I used to use large glass rigs and torches and everything, but literally since I got this two years ago or so, I have used only this, exclusively this, because I literally love it that much. This device is just as effective as any large glass rig and torch combination, and it actually saves you product because you'll actually be dabbing less. You get the same fat clouds as any big rig as well. I promise you, you will love this device. So let's go ahead and get started. Because I'm new, I wanted some of the best and someone suggested me ro Rove Diamonds. So I have some Rove Diamonds. I'm pretty stoked on that. Here, take a look at these. Really good stuff. So let's go ahead and start. Here are five things that you should know about your Honey Badger portable device. Cheers. Number one, you are going to want to clean this thing every two to three days. Now it kind of sounds tedious, but it's really, really not. It's really relaxing. It only takes about 10 minutes and it really is worth it if you want a nice, clean, awesome tasting, big cloud dab. The other reason is pretty obvious. You don't want this thing getting clogged. It really doesn't happen often, but it does happen. On top of that, Honey Badger actually puts cleaning tutorials on YouTube and on their own website. So you should be able to just search for those and find them pretty easily. On top of that, the reason I'm making this video is because I was cleaning it and it waited so long to clean my tip that it actually broke. So be careful about that stuff. Which ties right in to number two. Buy extra parts and buy a bubbler. Definitely. The thing with taking hot hits on this thing without a bubbler device is that the mouthpiece is so wide, you don't, you get a big fat hit really fast. And it's not the same as you would get with any other piece with a smaller mouthpiece. I made an earlier video about this one, the bullet bubbler, and I totally, totally love this thing so much. It makes this device a totally different device than the base bubbler or without a bubbler at all. Highly, highly suggest this bubbler device. Always remember to get extra tips, hot tips or low temp tips, whichever one you like, but get extras. You never know when one of your tips is gonna be too gunked up to clean or you just don't want to clean it or you want a new fresh one. Plus they're only like 19 bucks. So definitely get yourself at least one replacement tip for any reason. That being said about the tips, let's talk about our next thing that you should know. The battery life remaining on your Honey Badger will have everything to do with how your tips are working. A low temperature tip at a full battery can get to about 700 degrees, whereas a high temperature tip can get to about 900 degrees on a full battery. 
After about an hour and a half of usage of your honey badger, you're going to want to check the battery life because those tips are going to be way less than what you're used to at the beginning of a fresh battery. It seems like the most obvious thing in the world, but it's not like these things have a little alarm when you're low or half on battery unless you put them back in the charger and let the charger tell you. So always remember to get two batteries and know what your battery level is at so you're getting the best dabs on your product. Anyway, we're almost done. We got two more things that you should know about a honey badger. Each honey badger comes with three little jars, and at first I didn't really have any idea what to do with them exactly except store my product in there, uh, but then I figured it out, and it's really, really cool. So besides putting your product in here, you're gonna wanna put your little jar in the bottom of the little magnetic device in your device, and when you're on the go, you have a little jar to dab out of. It took me too long to realize that. The reason I figured this out is because every time I tried to dab with that little jar in my hand, it literally burned my fingers. So don't do that. Use the magnetic piece that it comes with. Again, maybe it seems like the most obvious thing, but it wasn't. Which actually brings me to my last reminder about the Honey Badger that you're gonna wanna know. When you're using the Honey Badger, make sure you are always holding it over something. You never know when this thing does have a little bit of hot leftover oil, it could drip out, ruin your clothes, or maybe get on your skin and burn you. So be very careful and always hold this over something when you're using it. I hope this video was informative and again, I hope you really invest in one of these devices. Again, I have not used rigs since I got this thing. I love this thing. I can't go without it. I need this thing. It's wonderful. You need this thing. You should get it. Again, use the link in my description. Check me out on Twitch. We have a lot of fun. If you have no idea what Twitch is, I play video games and we have a great community of friends who come and watch me and check me out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.